From the time I was 10 or less, I loved cars. And I would try to identify a car by the sound. And I got to be reasonably good at it. We're extremely proud, but also uh, humble to have the privilege of being caretakers of these cars. Our family's collection has gone through multiple evolutions of themes. And the most current theme are really enjoying the cars that we have. There's not many manufacturers in the world where you can drive something from the 50s and their brand new product, and they have this total connectivity of DNA. We got a big gas explosion. Uh, it's knocked down a lot of this building. We could see that our building was intact, but the building next to ours was literally just demolished. The fire leaped over and destroyed the roof, put a big hole in it, and that's what caused the ultimate damage. We had about half of our collection in the building. It was a day, obviously, we as a family will never forget. The Abarth will, has always been a special car. As you know, they made 20 of these in 1960, 61. This is car number eight. We're the third owners of the car. And we were looking forward before the explosion to showing it at Pebble Beach. So in four and a half months, we rebuilt all the drivetrain, suspension, fuel system. We did a complete, which would normally take two years. We did it in four and a half months. It's a very weighty feeling to work on this project for 4,000 plus hours and then be sitting next to your father, who you love so much. And uh, he's given me every opportunity in life. And we have this shared passion, this Porsche passion. And it was a very surreal and special moment to realize that you know, we only have this time together you only get to go to Pebble Beach so many times, and the reality that we had made it, we had finished this project. I will say I think that day brought us together even closer as a family. What's compelling for our family is the stories behind the cars. And that's really what's so fun. It's again about the people. It's as much about the people as it is the cars. And so each car has a fascinating story of either in the day it was raced by famous drivers, it did incredible things, or the people who owned it were really fascinating as well. So that's really part of the journey. I think that's kind of the spirit that emanates from the mark. Uh, you don't, you finish what you start. 